All right, so yeah, we're already, <laughs> we're kind of like we kind of we're at fifty minutes, and so we I guess we we still got to talk our final topic or not actually your topic, um, not our final one. Your topic is um, we're gonna talk about um, uh, this whole thing with um, and, and we're going off track, but then we're gonna go back to um, back to our our point again with the movies but i figure we take something different talk about something different and we were going to talk about um all this and since it's summer you know people are wearing less clothing and shit like that and so <laughs> you know and it, or people are trying to you know get enhancements and all that stuff Everybody's trying to look good for the summer man. for That's what for what for uh, no what reason for it man but I, teach their own, you know? mm, I, I guess i mean i, I mean uh for me, my summer is consistent of driving in my air conditioning car to work and and getting getting my fat belly out of out you know out of here out of there and work in the office and then go back home and not even give a shit. So I I get it why you know people. I mean I got to go back to the gym anyway. I mean fuck that. But uh, I don't even care about the gym. I have so much weight stuff at home. I could do that at home. But uh, yeah, I, I'm just not into that mode anymore of like, you know, looking at, you know, looking at women or, you know, like, ooh, you know, I like summer because it's less clothing. I don't know. It just, it just don't, it just don't get to me anymore. But I, I guess with you, no, I'm not gonna uh, lie. It does look. It, I'm not gonna say it doesn't look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, but it's like, if you don't need it, why do it? Well, it, see, to me, I'm a little bit. I, I'm a little bit more cerebral. I, I'm more into like the character, you know, like their personality and stuff. And I know that's kind of it's it that doesn't work. It's a baseless argument when the fact that you only get to see a woman for for two or three seconds. Okay, like I'll tell you this. I okay. I like. Uh, I, I gotta be careful. How I say this because it, it. Okay. So any. Anyway, so we have. So I have coworkers, right? I have coworkers, right? And mo- the majority of them are females, and and I'm sure they got boyfriends, husbands, whatever stuff. But there's, I to me, I would say there's maybe about two or three that are, are I would say cutie, you know. And when I say cutie, or even the, like they can wear clothes, and I could say, okay, yeah, you, you, yeah, they, they fit you, <laughs> you know, they look good on you, right? Mm. Whereas you know, everyone else is kind of like, eh. Nah, I mean they don't try because they're at work, you know. They're you know they're a different mindset. But um, but see, I don't there go any. Some people that put on stuff now be looking like, why you even try? But then they just have that confident boost, like it's just, just yeah. Some people just like yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean I get, I mean I get that. I, I just uh. I mean, I mean, what's your t- okay? So, I, let me ask you a question. So, what's your take on on? Um, I'm not gonna ask a question like, what do you think about women wearing less clothing to work for? I don't give a shit about that. But you know, like people are trying to enhance themselves. Like you have this body positivity, and then sometimes it goes out of hand with people protecting people who are perhaps um, you know a little bit obese. Because I'm I'm considered obese on the BMI scale. Okay, so so would you I, get a BBL? Fuck! Why would I need that? Why would I do that? I mean, I know guys would do that, but why would I? There's no need for me to do Wait, that. Hold on, hold on. Am I getting confused? Okay, a BBL is is that that's, that's not a, a butt, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it's a butt lift. Okay, it's a Brazilian is, butt lift. What's, it's Brazilian what's, butt lift. What's the stomach? Where they get the stomach done? That's like liposuction or or okay. If you say stomach, that can either be gastric bypass, gastric sleeve. There's another. There's another. There's another surgery that's this new that they're introducing, and then there's the and then there's the liposuction. And then the, would you the, do that? Lipos. I would probably. I was. I'm half and half about getting the gastric bypass. That's when they slice off your stomach a little bit. But there's some serious. There's some serious things you, you got to take in consideration. One, you're always going to be hungry. And the thing is, you can't. You gotta understand, you've been eating a certain way for years, and then you're trying to condition yourself not to eat much, and but you won't be as hungry because your stomach is small. So it's weird. It's almost like psychologically, it's gonna. I mean, I don't know. People are making it sound worse than it is. So you'll uh, be you'll be overly hungry, but you have to tell yourself don't eat a lot because you don't have enough room to fill it. Well, no, the, well, right, right. You don't have enough room to fill it, and, oh, and wow, see. So, so one, you have to kind of you have to. And think about it. For me, I've been eating. I've been eating the way I wanted to for years. It's just that there's certain times. I, I don't, I'm not a glutton. I just eat. I just eat at the worst times. Like if I want to, if I if I'm thirsty, you know, they say drink water and stuff. I would drink soda, and soda would be fine. It's not fine now. It's just sugar. So. um and sometimes I get in those moments where I want to be comfortable, and then I'll try. I'll probably drink two or three sodas, and but I won't drink two or three sodas every day because I get guilty about it. So, and then you have to understand, I used to work out all the time, so I could I could handle it. 
you know and as you get older your metabolism slows down and all that stuff and genetics yeah I get how did you bring up the guilty part like you see how you say like there's something that you want you want but you know you shouldn't have it so you feel guilty but it makes you feel good do you think it's the same like i know you can't really say if, if that is the case or not but i wonder if it's still the same when it pertains to women when they get the the big you no know, the bbls or they get the lipo when they do these changes to their bodies they they, they make it seem like you no know, they're happy that they did it but do you, i wonder deep down if they actually like are guilty that they did it when, when, when you say when you when you like, when you say guilty, guilty what? Like, like you, like for example, how you say like you know you're not supposed to have it, but you want it because it makes you feel good. And then well, the last minute okay. You start feeling like guilty for it. I, I, but I don't think that's in the same context because we're talking about something like food that gives you. I, I get what you're saying. Food gives you pleasure. Let's say that person is getting that BBL for gratification. See, yeah, my point no, is, it, but, but, but I'm not getting. Like the same. But I'm not. But I'm, see, here's the thing. I'm not getting gratification for drinking. It, it would be like okay. It would be like okay. I, I'm gonna talk a real. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real frank. I'll be real transparent. <laughs> it would be like it, it would be like me jerking off, right? I jerk off okay. to relieve stress, right? I drink yeah. a cola to relieve. I drink a cola because, not because oh, I just want. It's kind of like I want to relieve stress. So, so it would be the same thing for a woman that wants to get their body done. They're doing it because. Uh, I, I mean, to, to maybe. That, that, you know what I'm saying? I, because that's the thing is more of like uh, insecurities. Insecurities become stress or can be stress. So when they get it done, I can see it being a relief because they get more eyes, more attention. Well, I, I think, I think, I think, when well, yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. I, you know what I'm saying? I feel like deep down they're probably like, man, I well, wish I, I didn't do that to my body. I, I think. I think perhaps may I think they might have felt that when after the surgery immediately when everything is swollen and they don't look see that's the thing it's all about visual stimulation right and, and instant gratification so let's say the person who gets the tummy tuck because when you get the tummy tuck your your tummy is not going to be instantly sh shrinking it or 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 show your abs it's going to be bloated because you just got open you know you got cut you know whatever yeah. all this stuff done in your body so your body is going through this whole process of like okay we just got violated we gotta fix our set our, <clears throat> we just got violated we gotta fix our shit so you're not gonna be at your best that those first days or or maybe even a week or so it's usually after a month then everything kind of your body kind of forms to its new new creation or new form and then mm -hmm. you know whatever so I, i'm just saying is i i'm not a woman so i wouldn't know this and I, I would assume I'm just saying assume that yeah, I say that. I, uh, uh, right so I would assume that after she gets it immediately she has to go through the pain like she's thinking like she's thinking I want to get this operation and get this stuff and all that so she's probably not even thinking of what she has to go through to yeah. get to that point so she's probably like you know there's like five steps right so there's the first two steps you know the consultation then the talking then the pre-op and then under the knife and then there's those two stages of waking up after surgery if if possible and then number th uh, and then going through recovery the recovery maybe not eating maybe sitting on a donut wherever the fuck it is right so she so she's probably she's she's not even thinking about that cuz i just to be honest i just assume they wouldn't be thinking about it cuz they're just not going to think about it cuz it's like they want what they want they want to when it happens they want to go in that mirror in their room and take that long picture with that little phone with their nails and shit but you know I with the three they think about it in the moment because who wouldn't like if you know that you're about to do something that's life-changing dude like, dude i'll be watching i'll be watching some of these documentaries with these with these broads man these broads will be getting this shit and when they do they be sitting there crying over two days after surgery because they don't look the way they are some of these women are so fucking clueless and so they're so shallow they're so they're so fucking shallow it's like they don't it's like sometimes they just don't see it and i'm and i okay maybe i am being a little bit abrasive but they don't see that shit they don't see that it's kind of like that person that wants to it's kind of like i want to get all the perks of of having this operation but yeah i don't want to go through all the pain i don't want to go through all the recovery i don't want to work at it and it's like yeah. simply put you know there's some women who can't afford it so what do they do they don't do a brazilian butt lift they go and work out in the gym and they figure out some exercises and they can bust out and maybe have it maybe have it not as not as big as they want to and then you've seen some they just want it's, it's so big it's just like i don't know and it's like to me just to me personally and i i, I know i'm a i know i'm a black man or whatever i, I know i'm a black man I'm just not attracted to something that if I can see your ass from the front 
that's I know that's a problem. I, that's, a pro- that's, that's a problem. problem. Right. That's a problem. And and I drive a Kia. I don't drive a Cadillac. You got a Cadillac. You got all the suspension <laughs> and shit. I got a Kia. They ain't gonna support all that ass. It's gonna crack. It's gonna break the suspension. I better. Yeah, no, right. fuck no, no. I'm just no. I I, I just it's just not attractive to, uh, to me anymore. You know, I like petite. You know, you know maybe short. You know, and stuff like that. You know, you know, whatever. But, but yeah, I, I, I don't, I, nah, I, I get why they do it. It's for, it's really for them, and it's really, it's not necessarily for the man. They're not really doing it for the man. They get the male gaze, they get the, the non-sexual or the sexual attention from the attention from the man. Great, but really, they're doing it to really put other women down. That's how I see it. It's kind of like, you know, they'll go to the club in a nice dress and stuff. They ain't trying to, they're trying to get that gaze, but they ain't trying to like, oh, I need to go, I need I need all the men to look at me. They don't give a shit about the men. They give a shit about the women, shaming them, making them look down like, oh, I'm the boss bitch, you know, whatever. So it's like, nah, I I, I get why That's they do. Way to look at it. I mean, I get I get the whole thing of the, of the body positive. Well, the body positivity is just to me, it's just, it's gone out of hand because, yeah. Cause I, now, I, I, I can say recently and lately I've been noticing women are starting to like lose weight. I'm starting to notice that. I don't know if that's the new thing now. Well, have you, have, have you seen Megan Stallion now? I don't care for her. I, I never liked her. But I, I get what you're saying. I, I, she's like Revlon. So yeah, she's got to lose weight. She's on Revlon. Yeah, she's getting paid. Yeah, she's getting paid that. money. She's getting paid real mm. money now. So she can't. She a lot of she looks well, so small now. Well. You gotta understand, she's been through some shit with this Tory Lane stuff. She was stressed, That's and true. that shit, that shit broke her. And then, and then to the point, um, she's been. I th- and at the same time, I don't know. And like I said, I'm, I'm not. In, I don't watch her or regularly to know what's going on in her personal life. But you gotta understand, she people can only do that stuff. And I and I see this with women. I don't see this so much with men. And maybe I'm just a little bit biased. But I see more more with women. They get this sort of when they get a lot of money, they go through this change. They can get things now. They don't have to do so much. They don't have to put this this much out now. I'm a name. I can do whatever I want. It's kind of like with um her partner. What's her name? Um, um, Cardi B. She don't have. She she made all the money she wants to now. Now she don't have to do all this extra stuff that she used to. It's kind of like you know when you come up when you you know in that type of um, that type I of get field. What you're saying, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like so all the, all the new female rappers coming in, big butts, all this. Extra yeah. That's that. There's that one with the. She's like she's she's like really light skin or albino and she's got that little fro. I and the only thing she does and she was like with one of the Kardashian daughters or and Kanye West was pissed mm-hmm. off when she was dancing with her or she was trying to look like her and it was just like okay. Yeah, you've seen that. So to me, it's like, okay, that's what girls at the age like to do. They just like to be, like to show off, show off being promiscuous and, you know, say that they're promiscuous and most of them are not. And okay, so what? Okay, some of them look like they've been molested or something, you know, some of them, they're serious. It's, some of them probably, I'll just say this, as a person who works in the mental health uh, field, some of these people, especially some of these artists, they have similar traits to people that have been, they either have been abused in their childhood or they're, or they're currently abused. So um, I'm not going to say who that, you know, I'm not putting out fingers or anything like that. It's just that some of the traits that some of these um, artists have, you know, and, and like I said, it could all just be an act. You have to understand it could be an act. It, like I said, you yeah. have some good people out there who are very good actors they can pull off anything and and do it and give you that that perception that they really gone through shit and so it makes them a little bit more authentic and yeah so they're gonna they're gonna do well no no matter what so um but yeah the body positivity i mean i get it It, i mean it's kind of like i it's like when i was probably much better shape i probably had a little bit more i probably like uh, i guess my what do you would say my require not requirements my preferences were a little bit different you know and now being in this position i am now i'm not even i don't even consider myself worthy of trying to engage in any of that type of activity because i'm just not at myself when i'm at myself it's kind of like you know body positivity i'm not going out saying oh yeah you should just accept it because there's a double standard women can do that shit yeah yeah women can do that shit go on a magazine and all that stuff and and you go girl you go sis you slay queen and all that bullshit but then when a guy 
no one will accept the guy and then they'll try to then they'll knock him down a peg because he either he don't look like a man he ain't being a man because they want this you know so it's like it's a problem. and what i don't like is that how women do it they'll they're like they'll praise a big woman they'll be big and then as soon as that big woman decides after she did all that talk about i'm big i'm beautiful blah 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 and then you decide all of a sudden i want to lose weight oh you're talking about like adele and what's her name yeah. um that and other the other the chick women, yeah yeah all the women the first thing they say oh you look beautiful you look this and that but why couldn't you just say hey if you lose weight you'll look beautiful no no because because here's the thing women women are competitive and they're spiteful and they're cunning it's just like (laughs) it's just not it's not in their nature to be to be let's not say truthful it's like you're comparing you're putting see the thing is it's like when you have someone like adele right Mm -hmm. um who actually has a talent the fact that she has a talent and now that and the way that she is, it's like people, women can identify like, oh, I may not look at like I may not sound like Adele, but I look like Adele. Right. Yeah. And then when Adele loses weight and then she says, well, um, no, I should have lost weight, you know, after I got divorced and stuff like that. And usually that's what happens. You know, person is fat or whatever. They're in their marriage, have their marriage fat. And then all of a sudden they break up. Then what What does they do? They're going back out on the market again. So, yep. of course, the chick going to lose weight. Man might lose weight. He might just do, do another job, f- say, fuck it. But she going to lose weight, look good, and then try to get her, rede- you know, try to redeem herself or get her groove back or whatever the bullshit is. And but like you said, it's 10 times grimy with a witness com- pertains to a woman and another woman. Because when she's fat, you think it's OK, it's good. She's, she looks good being fat. Women so don't even like weight. women don't even like other women. And the yeah. thing and then the funny thing is, it's the they're the most. They're the most. Del- it's the most delusion. The most delusion you'll see is they will support a if they okay, if they see a man doing doing a woman wrong and, and it's not, not even no not even see it if they hear about it they will take to their side because what they're doing they're putting themselves in that situation they're putting if it was me in that situation maybe I would I've been cheated on in the fourth grade so I can understand what she went through no you don't fucking know what she no. went through because you in the fourth grade no one knows what you went through right <laughs> shut the fuck up right but you you can do that you can do that and be that person okay fine but if a if a woman would claim jump on another woman or a woman would say hey we support each other they don't support each other they don't no nah. They, they they might they might show and for show as a they put out a big dog and pony show like oh yeah we're all nice cute cuddly no you're not it, 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 okay come, let's just be clear the diana ross and supremes broke up right mm-hmm. destiny's child broke up mm-hmm. in vogue I'm, I'm i'm pulling all these <laughs> I'm pulling all these groups up with females only broke up um who else who else i'm trying to think of other female female i mean they, none of them survive so what i'm saying is some females they don't stick together they just it just they some of them don't it's even like that in the work community like if you pay attention I, i've never worked a job where a group of women working together never have any problems it's every day they're going to have some type of problem oh you know oh, uh, you know, tell, tell me about it. it's like my jo- my job is like ground zero for that shit it's like we get <laughs> it's like i have I have there's this one person I okay there's like two or three people I work with and and to me they get away with murder it's like they <laughs> constantly just they take their breaks when they want to they or they leave their station and you know and and our jobs we have to be by our phones because we're monitored by our phones of how many calls we have and all this stuff right mm-hmm. and and then and not only that it's the, it's about availability it's not necessarily we monitoring you because we need well yeah it's accountability but it's also available it's accountability and availability right so you're going to <laughs> you're going to be you, you're gonna you, you have to be at a, at a place to have a phone so you can talk to make your appointments with the patient but you get some of them they get in their own it's like it's all about them they're like fuck this job it's all about it. they don't say it fuck this job but they it's all about them like oh don't tell me what to do it's like <laughs> I, I don't engage i don't i don't fucking engage with them because i already it's like there's certain times like um i'll, I'll give you a situation oh and I'll give you a situation and then then yeah, I'll give you a situation. Okay, so I have this one coworker, right? She comes there 30 minutes before I do, which that's her time, right? So she she was told by her supervisor that she had to sit in two seats because we have to have availability because the shift the the there's four different shifts. There's a there's a seven o'clock, there's a seven thirty, there's a eight o'clock, and then there's a nine thirty. Okay. Um so uh 
this person was told to sit in this in these seats, right? So I was told to sit in these other seats. Now I'm going to follow directions and sit in the seats I was told to, because that's what my boss wants me to. Because I I don't think I, I just do what I'm told. Because mm -hmm. that's why that's how I that's you know that's why I, it's called working, right? Yeah. Whereas this person just sits where the fuck she wants, and no one says anything about it. And so I came up and told. I, and the funny thing was, I it was yesterday. I decided to sit in another seat because I figured that this other person was going to sit here. The um, So then I got scolded by not my boss, but my boss's underling about it. And I'm like, what? And I looked at her like, really? And I didn't say nothing. I didn't, I wasn't going to engage. I was like, I'm like, you let this other half of us sit there <laughs> in the same seat all day. Never challenge her, never talk to her, nothing. And I'm not going to challenge her and talk to her, nothing. Because I don't get paid that much to do that shit. But yet you're going to scold on me because I'm approachable. Right. Yep. I'm approachable. Right. 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 And to me, that's and to me, that's bull. I call that. It's, it's, I call that a hypothetical. Job, he's doing it correctly, but they come to the they, they, they come for the one that is doing the job correctly. And even even if right. even if she did it correctly, it's just the fact it's just the fact that she's a woman. She don't want no. But this person, if you engage with her, she causes a problem. And so I just call that hypocritical bullshit because I'm like, if you a manager, if I was a manager and I saw that, I say, I told you to sit over there. Why are you sitting there? And then, and then, and then, only thing I would ask is for an answer. And whatever answer you give me, I take that and say, okay, I'm putting that on your statement. So when you sign it saying that you didn't follow orders, I'm gonna say, well, you told me it was this. So that's what you're going. That's what we're going to buy. Yeah. Uh, and so, I I, I understand. And, and let's say this whole thing with body positivity. It I think it, to me it's called you just want me to accept. It's kind of like even you can put that with anything. I mean, we're not going to say solely that every problem is with a woman, but we could just say to a, to a certain degree, there are certain there are certain there are certain standards and rules and practices that are that apply to women that men cannot do and um, and can get away with. And to me. And to me, it's it's kind of like that's why I don't engage. That's why I don't engage with women in that type of man. Like I'll I can be funny. I can I can talk wherever I needs to needs to be done. But as far as socializing with them, trying to be hee hawing with them, and and this and this wine, you know, and when they start having this wine and crying and shit, I'm like, you know, go to some. And 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 this is hard because I'm a therapist, but I understand the the dynamic of this is not a patient, this is not my client, this is a person who I work with, who is somehow has the same experiences as me, but yet is held to a different standard because they have an extra they have an extra X chromosome instead of a Y chromosome. I'm just I'm being nice about it because I could say something vulgar, but I'm not. But they have an X chromosome instead of a Y chromosome, so they're gonna act like that. So it's like how do so retarded? No. It, because they want us to be soft and show our and give our feelings and be that type of man nowadays. In this nah, they, they they really don't want you to. Don't they don't. Want it. They, don't, they, don't want, they don't want you. To, they don't. No, and see, that's the thing. Really see, here's it. the and here's the thing. The, the trick is you just don't listen to them. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't see. Here's my thing. If you can't reciprocate what I give, and this is just relationship. If you can't reciprocate what I give you, then I don't need it. Yep. I don't need you because if you're a person that I have to give, 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 and you don't give anything back and you feel like your presence, just you soaking up the air in my, in my office or soaking up the air in my house or soaking or eating my food, you know, putting weight in my car so I burn more gas. Yeah, I'm breaking it down, breaking everything down, using my toilet paper, you know, uh, using my detergent, using my shampoo when I could be using that. Now I got to go to Target twice because I got to buy two more bottles of shampoo because you used all of it. No, I'm just saying is that if you don't reciprocate and that's just being general if you don't reciprocate that it's not worth it i mean it's just like buying a stock and you know that stock is just is shit but you keep putting money into it because you think one day it's going to oh it's going to it's going to blow up and and then everything's gonna be nice and i can cash out and buy that fucking house in maldives i always wanted you know no you ain't gonna get that no it's never gonna come back so no i just don't engage one i don't engage in any workplace shit anyway because it's just and plus i you know me i don't I don't like Americans anyway, so, um, <laughs> so it, it's, it's okay. I mean, that's a, that'll be another topic we talk about. But I'm just yeah. saying. Um, but yeah, overall, I just think you know, body positivity can is a good thing, and I think it, it could be good if you one. I think it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I mean, I think it as long as you are trying to make steps to be healthy. It's like this: you can do what you want to do. If you want to be the biggest orca 
four-legged orca whale out there, then so be it. Just stay, just stay the fuck away from me when I'm in CVS trying to get that last pint of Ben and Jerry's, okay? <laughs> Let me get that pint of Jerry's and then you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, okay? Because I don't care if shit out for that. But I'm just saying, I yeah, it is a, you're right, it is a double-edged sword. I think it's, but see, here's the thing. If you listen to them, then yes, it will sting. But if you don't listen to them, I don't give a shit. If, because to me, I look at it this way. In my field, fine. You're going to be having problems later on because of health problems and stuff like that. And you know what? That's job security for me. And I hate to say it. I hate to look at it that way, but that is. Because it's sooner or later, you're going to feel the effects of it. You cannot maintain. There's a person I know at work who just constantly eats. It's like, that's all they talk about. And sometimes I look at that person like, how the fuck are you living? But I get it. I get it. It's like, sooner or later, that person is there for a reason. So I can't. You know, I think, like I said, you know, there's some women, I think, that use the body positivity, but at the same time, they're smart enough to know I need to work out. And they do work out because you can tell they work out. You know, like I'm trying to think of that one chick, Ashley just Graham. Do do it here and there just a little bit to just, you know, help with the process. But you have some women that are doing it and it's for them doing it and, and fixing their body and transforming their body to something like that. It's not for them in general as much as it well it will do it for for stability well yeah i mean when you say stability when when, when you say stability what do you mean they they do they'll get big butts big boobs get small ways for stability and they don't want to work so oh oh okay you mean like you mean like instagram you mean like instagram shit okay so it'll be more for getting getting money or a way to say, you know how they're saying no, what you bring to the table? There are women that think just because that change, they changed their body that that's what they have brought to the table. Well, I, I remember I remember seeing a picture where it said, what do you bring to the table? And the woman had these large breasts and she put the breasts on the table. And so that was kind of like, that was like, on, th- like th- yeah, no, no, I, th- I thought it was funny. And I said, okay, that make you know, that's that's a funny way of looking at it. And, and uh, but you know, I, it's not going to trigger me. I mean, I get what they're saying. I, I just... I see it's it's different. See, the thing is what I what I would find attractive on a woman is different from I, I, each person is attracted to a different thing. I, I think uh, on a, when it comes to women they, or, or a person they're attracted to, there's different things that attributes that they have. It could be physical. Mm-hmm. It could be mental. It could be wherever it could be or, or their work ethic. It could be their FICA score. Like, I think FICA <laughs> scores are sexy as fuck. Like, oh, you you were 850. Oh, we got to we got to talk because my shit's six. My six to 630. It ain't doing that good. But your 850 gonna make my insurance go way low. You know what I'm saying? But no. <laughs> but uh but what I think is is that you have to you as for me I would just say this what I find I would say most attractive of a person is is you know I mean there's the subtle things yes the physical attractiveness yes that's one thing but I say what is physically I would say another attraction to me on a person and it could be it, and they could be fat thin or whatever is how how they see things you know how they see what's their perception and 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 if they're going to work with a person as in a in a relationship, are they going to bring stability or are they going to bring chaos? That's the most important thing because looks aren't going to and you can tell a lot of motherfuckers are paying for that shit. They might have some fine ass women, but they are fucked up in the head and they are causing chaos and calamity. They're bringing C C and C Music Factory chaos and calamity. I'm just serious. They, 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 they is bringing. I look for loyalty. That's what I look for. You're not loyalty goes a long way. But it's hard to find loyalty because you're it's asking. For, you're asking for. See, here's the thing. You're asking for loyalty from uh, a group that one is not loyal. Is not loyal. Well, they that's the first thing. That's the first part right there. I try to. T- I tend to stay away from trying to look for anything in that category. Like, well, I, don't, I'm, I don't need all that extra, man. No, no. It, it, but see, that's that's the thing with me. The thing is, I just. I just learned not to engage and I figure that um, if that's the case, so be it. If I don't have anyone, so be it. And I just leave it at that. I, I, mm-hmm. I, 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 
I've gotten to the point where I, I could just be, I can be bold because we talked about this. I could be the bold and just say, I just, I'll just jerk off. And that's fine <laughs> with me because I, to me, that's fine with me. I don't, I'm not into that point of like, oh, I need to have the companionship of a woman. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm, I want a companionship of a man. I like women. I like how they look. I like how they feel and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is if it comes to the nitty gritty and I have to cut through all that red tape just to get to a genuine person, then I will not fucking do it. I and rather. That's why I say loyalty because with loyalty, you if you if you got a person, all right. My definition of loyalty is someone that no matter what I tell you or say to you or what I go through or do, you gonna be there. So that, if that means me telling you, hey, I don't like how you performing or how you looking right here, and you instead of majority of weak women tend to not even weak women, even men, well, I mean, they tend to run. They tend yeah, to yeah, run. yeah, yeah. But but I expect a woman to. I expect okay you know, if you're you, loyal. You stick around and you're gonna try to make that change. <sighs> But see, but see, here's the thing: women get emotion. They, women are not men as far as the they're as far as thinking. They think more of the let's say some of them, not all of them, because you notice there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of women with that masculine energy. They they like mm -hmm. they like foot soldiers and shit. But it's yeah. like but it's like, like with women <laughs> with women they are they're supposed to be emotional. So sometimes you get that one who is sensitive or ultra sensitive. Now that could be the adverse effect. That could be the one you don't want. Cause That's I remember, no, no, because I, re I recall, um, long ago talking to someone who was ultra sensitive about every fucking thing. Everything was about it's like the, the whole relationship was in crisis because I said something differently than what the person wanted me to. And what that does, it changes the narrative to everything about you. And then what it says to me, that that throws that throws me several red flags. One that tells me, one, you victimize you're using the victim method. You're trying to victimize the situation. Number two, you everything. Uh, it's not about in a relationship. It's about you, it, two people. But you're making it like it's about you. So if you're not good, the relationship's not good. And that's and that's that's, that's bullshit. That's, that's that's no no it's. I mean, I call it. Well, I mean, yeah, you call it what you want. Turn against me, like you said. Right, if right. Part, if you tell the person something, and then it, instead of them listening, willing mm, to change, mm, or mm, trying to mm, make mm. it, even if it's a small change or a yeah, big change, yeah, yeah, you turn it against me. You already been disloyal to me. Well, and then I look at, it, and then I look at, it, and, and this will add a caveat to that is that I would. I would think that if you're acting like that and the relationship's about you, then it doesn't matter about me. I'm, I'm, it does, yeah. you can put any, you can put any guy in this situation. And as long as there, you have uh, an accessory or you have a person giving you that attention, that's all it that matters. It doesn't matter if that person has true feelings, has feelings for you, or that person has made sacrifices for you, or that person's willing to, uh, you know, to turn, turn his, turn on his friends, his true friends on you, willing to do whatever he needs to do to make the, the, to keep the relationship no you don't care about it, it yep. it's like what what i would say is that i look for is a person that is willing to support me and i'm not saying financially i don't need your fucking money but what i need is i i it's like i get beat up outside as a man and i'm just I, I, and i'm not trying to cry like oh uh, oh i have a horrible job no no i i I, when I say get beat up, I just have to deal with the stresses of just being being out there working, trying to um, do other things and build other projects and such. And when I come home, I want to have I always I always say this. I want three. I want three. I want peace. But I want pieces in three ways. I want peace of mind, a piece of chicken and a piece of ass. That's it. You give me those three peas. I will give you the fucking world if I have to if you want me to launch a campaign to destroy such and such like like you do everything I fucking want Brian I want you to uh, I want you to fucking destroy Kansas right yes ma'am I will that's be the only time you hear me say yes ma'am that's it because you giving me all those three P's now if you don't but give the me thing that is, that's why I say like it goes back to loyalty because you're gonna have to tell her hey this is what I'm looking for these three things you, you don't do you, don't, you don't you don't you don't have to but see that's that's what I'm trying to tell you you won't even there's some place I'm not saying places there's some people out there you won't have to because they already and I'm not trying to steer this into any narrative or anything but there's some people that there are people out there that will, are made for that they will just say yes because they have been they know what they, it's like yeah, they no, no, I won't. No, I'm not going to necessarily say foreign. I'm not going. Like no, well, 
I say the majority of the ones in your age, yes, they're not. Um, I, and yes, you're right. But it also depends on their parents. So it depends. It depends a lot on their now, upbringing. Are you, now, are you speaking outside of cooking and cleaning, the typical things that women normally supposed to like know. How the to women, do. the women don't know how to do that shit. If you look, <laughs> if, if you, if you, if you go, through, if you go through, if you go through Walmart or Target, and you just look at just certain things that are like cleaning, everything is so geared to um, you clean the big mess, and that's it. They don't know how to clean a mess. They don't know about elbow grease. You never, they, they don't know about yeah. what elbow grease is. They, they look at Ajax like, what the fuck is Ajax? Like, I used to use Ajax. <laughs> I still use Ajax to clean my toilets and to clean the bathroom. I still mm -hmm. use Ajax. You know why? Because I like working like that. I like, you know, putting that, that, that ethic. I get a workout doing that. So, yeah. Um, but they don't know about that. And even a lot of young people, even some men don't know about that. They don't know about that shit. They yeah, just think, true. they just think they spray it and it's supposed to come off. They wipe it and like, it doesn't wipe off. Like you got to scrape it, motherfucker. Or they, <laughs> or there's gum on the floor. How much would you get the gum off for? You get a scraper, motherfucker. What do you think you're going to do? Throw water on it? It's going to grow away? No, it's not. You know, so it's, it's like, it's going to get worse. No, it's going to, no, right. And, but no, see, here's, but here's the, okay. But here's the, here's, here's, I wouldn't say the key, but the thing is, it's just that, and, and I was, and I was saying this in my other podcast i said these people that just you know like okay we'll just i guess we'll talk an example we'll talk about example and then we gotta go on to the last topic but um mm -hmm. we we talked about like i was talking about the passport bros right and like some of these american women uh, and i'm not just saying american black women but some of these american women are just dissing and, and I, I think it's just like it's a trendy thing to do it because i think some of these women don't know about these other countries they just hear word of mouth and they just assume that um these people like they assume that these men they're not up to their level anyway so now they're going to go off with someone else and the fact that they are going someplace else where they're being um not saying they're being taken care of they're just being facilitated then from their point of view they're like okay one now you're kind of indirectly rejecting me when i wouldn't yeah. take you and but now and looking they, at the woman as the other women as weak well, not not only that, but you're also taking it. But but then you're also taking the woman's plan B. American women have this thing. It's kind of like the guy who um, does all this bad shit in their young and their in their youth, and then adult, and then all of a sudden when they realize that they're about to die, they turn their life to God, and they just say, oh, I'm gonna be a preacher on God saved me this, God saved me that, you know, because they're trying, they're getting close to heaven, so they gotta, make, you know, they gotta make this shit up before God pulls them away and say, hey, you know, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna die and then you're gonna burn in hell. No, 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 I, I, I did everything right. Lord, I did everything right. I told you. I told you I do everything right. Right. No. Right. So you have you have these women that in some ways they ride they ride the dick all through you know through their teens, through their young adults, through their 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 uh, middle adults and all that stuff. And then when they get when they get to that point, they're no longer attractive. They start getting wiser. They start. Oh, it ain't about me. I'm getting older. I don't understand. I'm not on the market anymore. So then what do they do? They get smarter. And then what they realize is that yes, um, oh, shit. Yes, that it's not it's not the same as it used. To. It's like where's that guy who's going to take care of me and my three kids? You know, I did all this shit with all these guys. Got kids none of the fathers want them now where's that guy who's gonna come in and save me where's that guy like me who has an income who has a good income who has multiple jobs who has who has education stuff going for him but where's he he's not there with you anymore he's spending income in another country and and and, and, and what i'm saying is it, it and it doesn't necessarily and here's the thing and and to caveat that it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna find paradise on the other side the thing is you have to change you first you you can't here's the thing you can't expect love from a woman and she's going to, it's she's going to be the be all the end all no you have to be comfortable and love yourself you have to take care of yourself you have to give a damn about yourself you have to be like saying no i'm not going to accept this bullshit now i'm not saying you have to yell and get emotional and and be irate because you're a man you're supposed to have your masculine you're supposed to have your masculine frame you're not supposed to be like a like a little whiny little pussy or a bitch you know you're supposed to just stay, you know stay in your frame do what you need to do work in silence if you have to get your groove and then you go and then you build your kingdom someplace else you go and get whatever you need someplace else it doesn't have to be here it doesn't even have to be in the state it doesn't have to necessarily mean you have to go outside of the western hemisphere i'm just saying is you have to go where you're accepted and where you're accepted 
your attitude will adjust and change. And when you feel confident and accepted, that's when you'll bring people, positive people that want to remain in your life and be loyal because they want that, you know? So um, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to find it in the Philippines or find it Southeast Asia or something like, I know some people who are good are good in Poland or good in Romania, you know, whatever. So I think it's, it's pretty much up to it. It really, I wouldn't necessarily blame the woman entirely. I think it's, I, for me, I don't blame women because to me, they have childish nature. So I'm not going to get upset with them because I wouldn't, because if they're not going to hold themselves accountable, I'm just like, okay, I understand you're like a child with breasts. Fine. I'm going to take care of my stuff, get to a point where I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be in a, in a certain position where I can, I can choose a woman that I want or select a woman I want, not just select, not just select a woman because I want to get my dick wet or my dick's hard. You know, I'm just not going to do that. Yeah. So I, I, I just, I, I just, so, so, and, and I'm not saying every man should do that. It, it's hard. I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's hard to do that because not every man's going to do that. Cause, cause I, I, I'll be, I'll be real honest with you. It's easier for me because I live alone. It'd be different if I had some woman and she was like wearing flip flops and cut off the cut off shorts all the time, sticking the ass out and stuff like me. And put, but I choose that, right? It would be hard. It would be hard to do that, you know, because all of a sudden she wants to give me the attention, you know, or whatever. You know, it's like those anime movies, those hentai movies. All of a sudden it'd be like <laughs> you, you minding your own business, working on a report. And then all of a sudden your stepsister wants to give you a blowjob. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, God damn. Like, now you want to get her pregnant. Like, you ain't supposed to do that, son. You're supposed to finish your, you're supposed to finish your goddamn term paper. <laughs> And you are you know blowing your stepsister's back out you know like what the fuck you know like goddamn like it's intriguing yes but i'm not saying i'm saying you're not supposed to you, you there's a time and place for that that's all i'm saying anyway yeah. um okay so we kind of we kind of tiptoed around body positivity but okay so um 